February 22nd, 2018. Well, it's uh, been a long time coming. I've wanted to do this for, uh, well, a good 25 years, really, the, from the concept. But uh, been in the works the last couple weeks to make it happen. The Pharmacy Seeds Network is officially on solar power in our greenhouse. Uh, the supplemental lighting and ventilation stuff is not there yet, but uh, it's all planned upgrades in the coming months. And in the meantime, we have a solar powered system in. We've got a 100 watt panel up on the roof. I'll insert a clip for that right here. February 20th, 2017. Uh, in the last week or so, uh, I've started transitioning over to switch the greenhouse over to all solar power. It's a, uh, been a long-term goal of mine for a long time and finally solar panels and all the other pieces and parts that make that possible are starting to come down into a more reasonable range. Uh, a friend of mine hooked me up with a nice uh, gift card from Amazon for Christmas and so I used that to acquire most of the parts we needed to do it. Uh, what you're looking at right here is a 100 watt monocrystalline solar panel by Mighty Max. And, uh, I'll show more inside the greenhouse. I just wanted to get a shot of this in the daytime. This is not the final mounting position. This is basically just a setup testing position. Eventually this will be mounted better and uh, probably will add uh, a tracking system controlled by the Raspberry Pi so we can actually track the sun from rise to set and get the maximum amount of power out. They say you'll get three to four times uh, the power out of a panel if you can track the sun and remain perpendicular to the rays. So that's that. We'll uh, pick this up in uh, the next section of the video. And then down here we've got the charge controller. Panel wires coming in to the charge controller. We've got two D-Rock 0 to 100 amp hour DC watt meters. Uh, these are the modules for the meters. And these are the actual meters. I'll let you have a nice close look at that. you can see the Raspberry Pi is running currently. It's drawing about 3.2 watts. Not bad at all. Uh, we also have a fuse box here. Uh, six separate fuse legs off the box. Uh, and one of those legs so far is the uh, DC 12 volt to 5 volt converter to run everything from 12 volt over to 5 volts to run the Raspberry Pi and the relay boards and the other coming upgrades. That per particular converter is capable of uh, either 50 or 100 watts. I think it's the 100 watt model. Anyway, it'll handle uh, the Raspberry Pi times at least 5. Um, so that should support all of our 5 volt applications, no problem. Uh, I just got it temporarily wired in here. Uh, with a, a homemade adapter going over to the Raspberry Pi. Um, later on, when I get the uh, the other upgrade boards on the Pi and stuff, we'll be wiring that in through the uh, through the bus. And uh, I probably will put a five volt output fused bus here for the output side of the converter, so it can be fused on both sides. Uh, system has. Uh, Connected right here, there's a 30 amp fuse right here, uh, right at the junction, so if there's ever any major short, uh, it kills power immediately so we don't have a fire. Um, I also have a master on off switch, so I can turn power to everything uh, from the battery off in one click. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because the Pi is actually running. Um, but uh, yeah. I guess that pretty much shows what we got here. This is a 35 amp hour 12 volt AGM type battery. AGM stands for absorbed glass mat. And it's basically, it's not a liquid electrolyte battery. Instead, they take a fiberglass mat and they absorb the electrolyte into that. These are much more durable for charge and discharge, uh, depth of discharge, as well as uh, long term being discharged. And in the event uh, the battery isn't maintained, they can take a much longer discharge time without taking major damage. Um, 
I've messed around with a bunch of these. Uh, I put one in at my parents back in 2004, I believe. That battery is still running today. Um, hasn't had any issues, still producing good voltage. So uh, that was a Concord battery. This is a universal battery. Battery. The other one was a Concord. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is a, just a quick tour just to show you that uh, we are now switched over to solar power and uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. I've been wanting to flip the switch off on National Grid for a long time. Uh, they've shut me off a few times in the past uh, both because of rate increases and because of hard financial times and uh, they showed no mercy about it. So I'm really glad to shut them off and go to solar power and uh, eventually the whole farm is going to be switched over to solar power as soon as is possible of course. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.